And welcome back. In the previous videos, we talked about some of the most common HTML tags and how the HTML document is read by the browser. However, we've missed one critical feature of HTML. And if we go back to our diagram here that we should remember from the first section, the HTML file gets sent to us, but the power of HTML is in its ability to link to other documents. So if I go back here to our website, it's a simple one-page website, but I can't really click on Fuji or Apple or Banana. It doesn't link to anything. There must be an HTML tag that we can use for that, right? Well, yes, there is. It's called a anchor tag. So an anchor tag is very easy, just an A. And this anchor tag has something called an href, which is an attribute, and it's the hypertext reference. So in this href, you'll be able to link to something. So let's close this A tag. It has an opening and a closing tag. And if I save this and refresh the page, well, nothing happens because you need something in the anchor tag. So let's do new page. I save that, I refresh, and we have new page here. Now, if I click this, nothing happens. So you can see that it's, it has the link and the mouse changes images. So it's clickable, but nothing happens. Well, that's because we need to specify where we want the link to go. Now, let's think about this. If we want to link to a new page, we don't really have another new page. If you remember, we only have index.html. Wouldn't it be great if there was another file that we can link to? Well, let's create another file. Let's open up Sublime Text, actually. I'm going to say File, New File. I'm going to save this as a new page. And we're going to save it to Desktop. And see over here how when I went to Sublime Text, it's now a plain text. I need to make sure that this is an HTML file, so I can just do .html, save, and Sublime Text automatically adjusts to the HTML. So again, I can type in that short command, HTML and tab that comes with Sublime Text. And let's do the title, new page, and the body. We can just do a header that says, this is the new page. If I save this, great, we have a new page. And if I go to my desktop here, you see that I have new page and index.html. So how do we link these two together? Well, it's very simple. We open up Sublime again, and within index.html, the href can now say we're linking to new page.html. Let's save that, and let's give it a try. Refresh the page click, and this is a new page. Awesome, but to go back, we have to press the back symbol. So let's link back to the original file. Again, we can do this by p tag, which is for paragraph. I'm going to say, go back. Close that tag. But hold on a minute. I need an anchor tag, right? If I just save this and refresh the page, I say, go back. But what if you really, really want this to be a paragraph? Or let's say you want this to be an H2, but you also want it to be an anchor tag. Well, that's very simple. You just wrap it in an anchor tag. And just so it's nice and clear, we're going to have the nice spacing here. And again, an anchor tag must have an href, which tells us where to go. And we want to go to index.html, so index.html save and refresh let's go back let's go to the next one and back so this is the power that comes with html this ability to link to other pages and yeah we can have text we can have lists we can have images but the true power is in this linking ability in the next episode we're going to expand on this i'll see you in that one bye bye